So just let me know. <laughs> oh no, well I gotta update shit and it's not updated enough. It'll work. No, yeah, I could still do it, but it's very choppy because my phone doesn't support the No, it's just my phone has now said it is too slow. The phone's too slow? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. But Hey, I'm here. Yeah, I I just can't believe uh, that all happened. That was crazy, y'all. Mm -hmm. So the new phone is more up than the past. It will. Are you sure? Are you but yeah, no, I'm here. I'm hoping this is getting out so I can know if my new uh, microphone's working for my new camera. My phone, if you didn't hear, my phone's too old, so I can't quite, you know, get it to work just quite right. Hey, let me rotate it so I can get it in some good light. I'm at home. Does my microphone work? Yeah, there's no good light in here. We know that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about if I turn it on? How about that? Does that work? Can you hear me now? Just somebody let me know if they can hear me. I just want to know at least if the microphone works. Because if the mic microphone works, then I know I'm okay. I'm hoping it works. I the instructions for this microphone are wit, written in uh, Chinese. That was uh, uh, dubbed in English by the third language. So I just want to make sure this is working. So if you can hear me, let me know. Hey, what's up? Hey, hi. No, um, is my microphone working? Check one two. Trump 2020. Check one two. Does it work? Can you hear me? Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Um, I'm gonna try and lower it down, dude. You're gonna, you're, you're being my helper right now. I'm gonna. Can you hear me from here? Do you hear any background noise? I mean, this is the cheapest freaking camera setup I got. Uh, the camera isn't quite working just yet because, uh, yeah, my phone's too old, and so is my computer. Yeah, it says works for Windows 7, but yet stuff isn't supported. Oh, you can hear the TV? Oh, damn. Okay. Well, we got a... I don't know. So the TV is pretty loud. Okay. Well, he's watching uh, the... Uh, Behind the music videos. What was that on VH1? Behind the behind the music of Motorhead. So, but yeah, yesterday was freaking intense, people. Um, let me see if I can block some of that sound. Does that help? Does that help with the sound? Hopefully. I I, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out stuff here. Here, let me turn down my microphone feed. No, 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 I want you to leave it there. I mean, that's... I, I, I don't... See, the instructions didn't tell me what this microphone does and what all those little numbers mean, so I'm not exactly sure. But I'm here. I'm alive. Hi. <laughs> that's Bill and Dick. Yeah, you hear him. Okay, so you don't hear the TV? You don't hear that? Okay, hopefully I have this right. So I'm using the microphone that I got from my new camera. And so I'm just trying everything out. The camera does kind of work, but my phone is too old. So as you can see, the pixelation. And I even have it set to the lowest setting, but still, I mean, I'm just running straight off Twitch. I'm not running off any other system or any, or any other program or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm okay. 
we're here. I mean, if anything, yesterday was just a good public service announcement. You don't know what's in other people's stuff. I mean, she was probably doing it out of the goodness of her heart, but it was just weird how we had moved and she had not, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to see in that video, but she had not offered it to anybody else. And I had given the elbow to um, a certain group that I respected. I did respect for being out there on the front lines. But when they turn their focus on something that has nothing to do with the protests of why they are there, that does raise some concern. Um, especially over something petty as, as hand sanitizer, to be honest. Um, that was pretty ridiculous. Um, obviously, you know, looking back at the video several times, and I want to thank a lot of the Twitch people out there, um, Twitch and YouTube, and even on Facebook and Instagram, and I'm not even on Instagram, but people have been sharing the video, of just showing how somebody has a point and somebody is making a good observation of you don't know what's out there you don't know what people are putting in these hand sanitizers i mean we've i mean you watch the news you know there's cdc has recalled a bunch of hand sanitizers made by different companies and i'm not saying they're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart it's just you know i i need to be more aware Okay, and I'm so glad that Bill and Thick was out there, you know, watching out for me. But that just goes to show how quickly things can turn on something that you're not even trying to be a part of, and how the focus changes onto the other things. And that's what's really scary and what makes me worry a whole bunch. Um, I, I mean, I was going to vote Libertarian just to. But I'm, I'm voting for somebody, and I just want to say Trumpy Bear is one of the cutest and stupidest things I've ever seen on late night TV for sale. <laughs> and that thing is so freaking adorable. And it's probably made in China. Who knows? But uh, no, I'm doing well. And again, the whole thing was over hand sanitizer that somebody came up to me and offered me hand sanitizer. And without thinking, I just said, oh, okay, hand sanitizer, no big deal. But then Dylan Thick said, hey, you know, you don't know what's in that. You know, you, you don't know what could be happening. You, you don't know what's in that. I mean, it is chemicals, no matter what. I mean, I, I'm not a germaphobe. I'm not one of those anti-vaxxers or anti-masks, because I had my mask on the entire time. Um, but... I mean, it just show, goes to show how somebody is going to take something so small and it's going to try and turn it into a bigger picture. And that's exactly what happened. And they neglected, I mean, they focused so much on me about hand sanitizer than they did of what they were initially out there for. And it was because two people were arrested on Saturday in Sacramento at the protest. One, the lady had actually been cited because she was shining lasers right into the cop's eyes. So she was cited. From what I understand, according to KCRA, is that the, that the guy that was also arrested was her boyfriend. They ended up detaining him because apparently he got involved with her detention. And he was over technically by his car and they went to go search their car and the car had a bottle of piss several smoke grenades uh some um body armor i mean this they were gas masks they were ready to roll and, and yeah smoke bombs too yeah i got that stuff yeah i mean they were ready to roll so what's really sad is that you have these instigators that are trying to Again, as we all see, you get these instigators that try and be on the side of Antifa or BLM. And I am pretty sure that the people that came towards us in the video yesterday were of Antifa or another faction, as I'm going to say, a faction. Um, but they were not there to... They were trying to... To me, it seemed like they were trying to bust out their dudes that were on their agenda. 
And I'm sure I probably dox myself, and I'm sure that I'm going to get some threats from Antifa and other groups. But, I mean, I went there with good intentions of just filming, and stuff goes sideways over the stupidest things, and I'm just glad that we're okay. But I'm going to bring more content. I'm going to have more stuff for you guys, um, either in real life. Again, I'm planning to be downtown this Saturday. There's going to be a rally going from the state capitol, and then they're going to march over uh, Tower Bridge here in Sacramento in downtown. I'm planning to be down there for that. So, um, yeah, guys, subscribe, like, check me out on Facebook, check me out on YouTube, check me out on my Amazon wish list. Um, I will have um, PayPal and other things set up, and again, Twitch. I'll, I'm I have been invited to be an affiliate, so. I'll have that all set up and I'll be an affiliate. And you know what, guys? Just stay safe. Listen to both sides and learn from it and just educate yourselves. And please get out there to vote. And you know what? Just stay safe and please and blessings upon all of you. Okay? Love you guys.